Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. Today we're in La Mida, California, which is very close to Long Beach, California, here with good friend Mr. Nataretter, one and only. I'm sure you know him, if you don't, food challenge god right here. Here are my good friend, Mr. Derek. If you don't know Mr. Heavy D, now you do. And of course, Mr. Blaine, the good old support system. Right. An excellent gentleman out here. So here we are to do their massive El Burrito Junior Burrito Challenge. Very suiting. So for this challenge, we're gonna have 25 minutes to eat an absolutely massive burrito. I think it's probably like eight pounds. Um, if we don't complete, it's gonna be 35 bucks. If we complete it, we get it for free. Let's do this thing. No BS, no stall, and let's go eat. There you go. Hi, everybody. So here we are. Massive burritos. Uh, we're all just getting set up here, so all this good oh, yeah. shebang. We're actually going to have four of us eating it today. We had a surprise guest. It'll be super cool. We're going to have 25 minutes. Uh, I'm getting excited. It looks really good. It's definitely huge. This thing is thick. This is four C's. So, and then everybody, let's right. get started. We'll say what, on the count of five? Yeah. Four, four, three, three two, two, one. Enjoy, guys. All right. And we're yeah. off. 25 minutes to eat this massive burrito. Massive. Massive. <laughs> Hola amigo, and welcome to today's video as we are in La Mida, California. Kind of rhymes, and definitely I get this Espanol Spanish kind of gist to it. So here we are doing the El Burrito Burrito Challenge. So this challenge is advertised at five pounds, what we got was definitely not five pounds. Current record, we're sitting uh, just over eight, I believe it's like eight and a half minutes, um, which looking at that burrito compared to what we got, we definitely have some bigger ones at that. But anyway, so this is a burrito. You do get to choose your meat. Um, and then it's just gen generic or standard toppings from there. I just go slow to that. I went with a pulled beef, um, which I don't really know why I did. Like, I kind of regretted it at a certain point, to be honest, because it was obviously like pulled and kind of, uh, you know, stringy. Um, not as easy to eat as like a ground beef or um, a chicken like the other gentleman went with. I think all the other gentlemen went with chicken. Um, Bear might have went with uh, ground beef, but the other three gentlemen, or the two gentlemen in the middle at least, both got chicken themselves. Very messy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So on these burritos, they had uh, like a couple different sauces, obviously guacamole. Um, they just kind of filled it then with uh, like refried beans. You had tomatoes, um, you had lettuce, uh, really pretty pretty standard, I would say, kind of burrito slash taco uh, fillings. Um, it was really cool them to obviously accommodate us. Accommodating four challenges at once is quite a bit. Um, oh, and there's lots of uh, Mexican rice in there as well. Um, so in regards to that overall taste, taste was solid, like there's no complaints, um, definitely a uh, good bit of flavor in there, um, lots of pitas or tortillas, there was like I think three or four of those extra large tortillas in this wrap, um, and I mean of course as a burrito they kind of fall all over the place so it kind of looks messy. My man, what is your favorite challenge or the ever challenge you've ever done? Me? Mm -hmm. Sweet dessert lemon, which is fun. Not the 10 pounds cinnamon roll? No. <laughs> oh man, that was great to see cinnamon roll that big, but it started off nice, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. We're in for time of two, two minutes? Mm hmm. 2.30. Thank you. I'm not used to having a timer anymore. So if you're not familiar with the uh, gentleman I'm with, with my good friend Mr. Derek, Heavy D, we then have Nader Redder, which goes by Freak Eating um, on YouTube. He has been a veteran in the eating game for a long, long time. So if you're not familiar with him, definitely check him out. And then we also have Bear, Gentleman Bear. You hear me refer to Bear as a gentleman uh, once or twice throughout the video. And it was honestly because I didn't get to clarify whether Bear was his real name or if it was a nickname. And you know how sometimes you don't want to call somebody a nickname because you don't know the story behind it? Um, so I wanted to like, so yeah, anyway, Barry is his real name. I clarified afterwards. Super great guy. Um, everybody here was super cool. And I was just like, it was such a cool experience to be able to eat with all these gentlemen. Um, and I mean, it definitely helps bring, you know, make the experience, you know, eating good food with good friends. A lot of tortilla. That is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, the difficulty of this challenge is actually quite high, at least with the versions that we got. Um, like seriously, there is no way these burritos were not like <clears throat> minimum, minimum, minimum seven and a half pounds, but I really do think they were more like eight, 
maybe even a little bit more. Um, in fact, this was actually the biggest burrito challenge I've done to date. Um, like the thickest, biggest burrito that I've done to date. So that just goes to say something, because I've done definitely a few burritos, often some really good sized ones. But this one, like I said, I really think it was at least eight pounds. Um, and when you only have 25 minutes to an eight pound burrito, that's pretty tight right there, to be honest with you. Again, if the challenge comes out at five pounds as advertised, 25 minutes is just, I think, reasonable. But at eight pounds, this is, this is a pretty difficult challenge, not gonna lie. I mean, of course, the better uh, or the benefit that a burrito challenge has is everything's pretty soft um, or at least it should be pretty soft pretty moist so it goes down pretty quickly compared to something which requires a lot of uh, a lot of chewing um, you know something that's very very tough to eat however that being said still definitely quite a bit of difficulty involved and that everybody though i believe that's about all i need to say for the time being i hope you enjoy the rest of this video um, again awesome challenge really great time down here in california this is actually one of the uh this is the almost the last food challenge we did down here in california so if you enjoyed these california videos let me know it's unfortunate they're coming to an end soon but until then definitely check out the extras at the end of the video and uh, i'll let you enjoy that and uh let's see what all goes on happens hopefully we'll all get a win and uh who knows we'll find out And we're done. Six and a half minutes? No, six. Six minutes? Yeah. Six minutes. Six, six and a half. Very nice burrito. Lots of moisture. Just trying not to get messy, but it's just hard when there's so much moisture. I'm gonna adjust the setting on my camera. I think it's tuned up a little bit bright, but that is officially a new record. I used the old record was somewhere about just over eight minutes, so really good burrito. Definitely would recommend El Burrito Jr. Would recommend. We have Derek just absolutely killing it. We have Natter over there killing it. Both gentlemen are well over half done. And I can't see the other gentleman at the end, but I'm sure he's killing it as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah, all these guys over half done. So everybody, let's tune in. They have about 18 minutes left, so we're all gonna get W's here momentarily. Yes, this setting will make it a lot better. Look better already. Really cool thing about California is there's a lots of this kind of Mexican style cuisine being right on the border. So definitely something you have to enjoy when you're in the area, not in Canada.
Look at this. No belt whatsoever. Sometimes you have to undo pants. You prepare for war, you go to war. No BS, no Stalin, no excuses. I did, no Stalin. No Stalin. Joseph Stalin. You got it. You got it, good job. Nice. Derek is like an eighth of the burrito left. Nader has like less than a quarter. And Bear. Also less than a quarter. All these guys are absolutely killing it. Bear. 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 Gentleman bear. There in the end. There you go. That's a better view of them, I think. It's impressive, man. It's quite a combination. I will talk to you more after you're done. Okay. You're very good. But gentlemen run marathons. Very impressive. I don't do that. My cardio, not that well. I only participate in bedroom jujitsu for cardio. <laughs> <laughs> it's very similar to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, except it's performed in bedroom. Goal is still to have sparring partner tap out in submission, but usually in pleasure and not pain. <laughs> this is PG, children. We've been doing this all Oh, I forgot we live. Sorry, everybody. Oh, it's okay. Protect your ears. <laughs> around 15 minutes in. Everybody is coming to a beautiful finish here. Solid 10 minutes left, so let's keep up guys, we got this. Got it in the bag, or in the pan, more accurately we can say. This tortilla never ends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel that way as well. Derek finished. 17 three. 17 and a half minutes. Awesome, man. Crushed it. Nader and Bear are doing absolutely excellent as well. Both are down about eighth of a burrito. About seven minutes left. Such a beard, that's the impressive part. That is an impressive part. Do you guys want another burrito? I'd prefer dessert instead, but. Churros, maybe? Simple yeah, churros, yeah. This is more than five pounds, by the way. Oh, like you said. Yeah. Three minutes, guys. Four, three minutes, yeah, three minutes. Two minutes. I knew you weren't trouble when you walked in. That's how I felt about this video. <laughs> now I'm lying on the cold hard ground. 
the goat stream. The best video. There you go, Matter. Last fight for Natter. So guys, minute and a half left. I'm on the phone with your girlfriend, she's upset, she's going. There we go, good job for that. I'm an man, honest man, that's all I have left, and man, I'm, I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> hey man, you did well, I'll tell you yeah, that. Dude, you crushed it. Thank you. All right, y'all. Well, uh, just finished that challenge. Um, Bear, so close. If he would have had, if he would have had another two minutes, he would have had it done. But me, Derek, and Mr. Natter successfully completed that challenge. I'm still covered in burrito. Anyway, we're gonna head out here pretty quickly, though. Really cool spot. Glad we were able to do that uh, challenge. It is advertised at five pounds. I think it's bigger. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really cool. Great eating with these gentlemen. Great to finally meet all of them. Had a lot of fun. And uh, that, everybody, until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry. And until next time, happy eating. I have one hour, 30 minutes on memory card. That means if we do three challenges, I'll have to be under half an hour. We all have to eat fast. Well, that uh, burrito one, I'm gonna assume it's five pounds. It's not gonna be anything. I'm gonna assume four minutes for homeboy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay in school, what's matters? Stay oh. in school, don't do drugs. Stay cool. Till the next time. Stay in school, don't What is this place? This look like, like, Big thingy things. They look very nice buildings, but I don't know what it is. Very fancy. Reminds me of Castle and Motherland. Very good. And over there is Hollywood, but we no see sign at the moment, but it is over there somewhere. Nice big sign, and that's downtown Los Angeles that way. We were there shortly. Oh, man, we're by the Staple Center. Is that where we are? Staple Center. Look at this very nice building. What is this building? It's nice. There's Popeyes. Good chicken.